Welcome back to another White Belt Wednesday. Today, we're taking a break from the technical nitty gritty of omoplatas and guard retention and delve into the world that might seem a little unexpected, video games. Now, hold on. Gamers and grapplers are like in more way than one. So just hear me out, okay? It might not come as a surprise to some of you, but I absolutely love playing video games. We all know the struggle of grinding the XP, leveling up your skills, unlocking new abilities to conquer those end game raids, or dominate those PvP leaderboards. Well, guess what? BJJ is just like that. Well, kind of. <laughs> Sure, there are no loot drops or boss battles, although sometimes there is that 20-year-old blue belt making it feel like you're fighting the Nameless King from Dark Souls 3, but there are some surprising parallels between building your BJJ game and climbing that sweet, sweet skill tree in your favorite RPG. Mine growing up was World of Warcraft. World of, World of Warcraft. I can't say it. World of Warcraft. Now let's start off with your basic stats. First things first, you got to build those base stats, okay? In World of Warcraft, like I mentioned, that might be strength, agility, intellect, and stamina, depending on what expansion pack you're playing in. <laughs> or weapon skills, uh, like grinding in Tor Mill for days, pounding away at low-level mobs to increase your unarmed skill level. Now, who remembers that nightmare? <laughs> I do. As an undead mage, it took frickin' forever, all right? Well, in BJJ, it's your cardio, flexibility, and strength, all right? You got to be able to at least last a roll, move with finesse, and at least hold your own against that rogue wrist locked attempt from your favorite purple belt. Looking at you, Mike. How do you expect to hit that fancy Baron Bolo or Granby roll if you are gassed out after two minutes, right? Or even worse, you have to accept defeat from a submission you can easily escape from when you're fresh. So hit the gym. Work on that endurance and build your BJJ strength and conditioning foundation. It's not the most glamorous part of our journey, but it's kind of like when you have a new piece of gear, you have to level to up to go and wear, okay? But trust me, those base stats are the unsung hero that will support you every step of your journey, all right? Let's talk about mastering the fundamentals. Okay, imagine you just booted up Elden Ring for the first time. You're not going to jump straight into the fight with Melina, the demigod swordswoman, with a reputation for being a total nightmare. You got to learn how to dodge block and maybe even master the basic sword swinging attacks in the game, right? Same is in BJJ. Before you get the fancy flying arm bars and uh, ninja chokes that would make Edwin Van Cleef proud, you got to focus on those fundamentals. Learn your fundamental basic skills like uh, framing, keeping your elbows tight, and your basic escapes. These are your bread and butter when first starting out. Those are part of the basic attacks and combos for your BJJ playbook. And just like in any video game, you got to have that down before you can start experimenting with some of these, you know, a little bit more advanced techniques. Okay, let's talk about your skill points and specialization. As you level up in your favorite RPG, you get the specialized, right? You might become a damage dealing mage, raining fire down on your enemies, or you might be one of the tanky warriors who soak up all the damage like a sponge in your favorite end game raid. In BJJ, you eventually find your own style and niche, right? Maybe you, you love the intricate world of guard retention, Baron Bolos, all that stuff, or you want to be a master of escapes and sweeps, right? Who frustrates your opponents and you're like Houdini like maneuvers, right? Where the heck did this guy go? <laughs> or maybe you're a takedown machine bringing the fight straight to the ground with throws and sweeps that would make any judo player uh, absolutely jealous of your skills. Listen, what I'm trying to say is you build a strong character by focusing on one skill tree at a time and branching off after you've mastered uh, enough in that one to your heart's desire, right? There's no wrong way 
to do jujitsu, just like there's no wrong way to play your favorite video game. All right. But here's the cool thing. Even with speciality, you got to keep those those other skills leveled up. Just like in an MMORPG where you might dabble in a bit of healing magic or to support your party, well-roundedness in your jujitsu is absolutely key. All right. Who remembers this, right? Finally being able to afford that epic spell or weapon off the auction house. It's ex uh, the excitement of a new gear drop takes your character to the next level, right? That's what it's like learning a new jujitsu technique. You know, the more you play and practice, the more experience you gain and you can level up faster in jujitsu and in video games, right? <laughs> you might spend weeks drilling that triangle choke, uh, visualizing it, how you would apply it in a roll, and then bam, you hit it in the middle of a roll for the first time, right? It's like pure magic. From building your base stats to mastering fundamentals, and specializing in your own style, the journey of a gamer and a jiu-jitsu practitioner share so many key similarities. Just like a good RPG, jiu-jitsu requires dedication, persistence, and the willingness to keep grinding. So next time you step on the mats, think of it as your own personal RPG. You got to train hard, have fun, and remember the only way to get the ultimate black belt trophy well maybe it's not actually like a, a trophy but you know what i mean it but is to keep showing up and grinding all right guys let me know if you find the similarities between jujitsu and gaming and what's your favorite video game comment down below i'll catch you guys later all right peace